guys welcome back to my channel so yes I look a little bit crazy my eyebrows are already done and I have concealer around them but I wanted to just mainly focus on the eyes today because I am using the new Morphe and James Charles palette so I received this in the mail the other day and <laughs> I had a broken shade and powder was everywhere when I pulled it out powder was all over the bubble wrap, it was all over the packaging. I pulled it out, it got on my shirt, on my pants. I opened it up and I was like, I'm gonna be so pissed if the whole palette's broken. So I threw a little tantrum on Snapchat the other day, but I did clean it up. It's just this brown shade over here, but like it got like on top of all these shadows over here, so I had to like go in and like rub it to get, like swatch it, and I'm getting like there's still shadow like on top of the palette here but anyways it is just a dark brown shade I don't really care about that shade because I do have a lot of dark browns in other palettes I would have been more pissed if it was an actual colorful shade um, but yeah so we're going to jump right into this palette um, first what I did I just kind of prepped my skin I put some moisturizer on and then I used the new Mario Badescu facial spray the orange blossom one it smells really good it's not so strong like the other one so I prepped my skin make it a little bit hydrated then for brows I went in with my Anastasia dip brow and then I just cleaned them up here but I'm gonna go ahead and take concealer on my eyelids prep them real quick and I'll be right back. This will be a first impressions too because obviously I just received this, haven't, I haven't even swatched it. I just swatched these shades just to get this brown shade off of here. Oh, like still there's shadow everywhere. And also for this look, I'm going to put tape on the sides because I want a super sharp edge here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shade Social Blade and I'm gonna pop that on the inner part of my crease here. I'm gonna go in with the shade Playground, which is this bright blue shade right here. To the shade escape here which is this dark purple and I'm gonna place this on this outer part here and I'm going to go into the shade single right here which is this lighter purple shade and I'm gonna put that right where the blue and the purple meet because it's a little bit lighter I just want that to blend a little bit better I'm gonna go into the shade daddy which daddy I'm gonna go in with this dark green and I'm just going to blend it there where those two colors meet I'm gonna go in with the shade B, which is this bright ass yellow shade. So yeah, you see shimmer on my eyelid here, but I didn't talk about it or show you guys me putting it on because I actually ended up taking it off and changed my mind, uh, which you will see here in a little bit. With the shade 518 here, which is this bright ass orange. go into the shade you're kidding and I'm gonna pop this on the outer part here okay so I changed my mind and took the shimmers off here I thought it'd be a cool idea to like match a shimmer color with this however other color that I want to take all over my lid and you guys will see that in a second here so I went ahead and like took off the shimmer over here put more concealer down and then powder to blend this out and now I'm about to cut my crease again over here rusted which is this like orangey red and I'm just going to pop that between this orange and this red And now I'm just going back and forth between all my brushes and I am just blending everything out. Okay, 
I want to take the shade face, which is this one, and I want to put that all over my lid. I want my lid to be bright, 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 bright. This Flower Beauty Warrior Liquid Eyeshadow, it's gold. And I'm going to go ahead and line my crease with that. I feel like whenever I do a cut crease, I like to do that, especially with this bold. I just feel like it looks weird and kind of a little bit choppy. Is that I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to do wing liner no I'm not doing wing liner I don't want it to clash with my eyes so I'm gonna go ahead apply my lashes I'm going to do my face makeup and I will come back for the lower lash line blush and highlight so I'll go ahead and be right back Okay, so I am back, applied my lashes, did my base makeup. I will put in the description box everything that I used on my face here, on my face here that I didn't show. Um, but now for blush, I'm actually going to go in with an eyeshadow from this palette because I know James talks about there's a shade in here that he always uses for his, or not always uses, but that he uses for blush. And I need to take my Essence Satin Blush real quick just so I kind of have like a little base to it just a little bit of some color yeah just like this okay so now going in with the shade literally here just just like this tap it off because it is a shadow I'm just going to oh I love when a blush is like shimmer not shimmery like not like glitter glitter but like when it has like a sheen to it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this. I have a new highlighter I want to try here. It's the Amrazy highlighter. Let me, first off, I've only swatched it. I have not put it on my face yet. So, first time trying this. Here we go. my god that is stunning I have to blend it out no doubt but oh my god that's beautiful oh my god mm. and with the lower lash line so what I was going to do I was going to match up the colors underneath here, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. But I really want to take this hot pink shade right here. And I just want to throw that on my lower lash line, like. Then I'm going to go in with this Morphe M213 brush and shit. Oh, anyway, that hot pink shade was called Skip. That was called Skip. <laughs> but now I'm going to go into the shade Artistry, which is this purple right here. The shade Love That, which is this one right here. I'm going to take that, I want to take it with this brush here, Ooh. pinch the sides and just even blend and smoke this out more. take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Space Dust, which is this sparkly like gold liner here. I'm going to pop that on my waterline. The 
Am Razy highlighter here real quick and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. The shade Hello and I'm gonna pop that icy blue in my inner corner. I'm gagging. Oh, okay, okay. Taking the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Setting Spray to set my face. I haven't used this before, so. Oh, <laughs> I was like, is it spraying? Okay, so hands down, this might become like my all-time favorite palette. Like the Jaclyn Hill Original Palette is like my holy grail because it has so many colors that I can use, but it doesn't have like the hot pinks and the bright purples and everything. This, this might take its spot. And this might be my favorite look I've like ever done, ever. I am obsessed with this. I just wish my hair was down and I looked a little bit better instead of this crappy bum, but I have to go to work later not wearing this makeup, definitely taking it off, but wow, they blended so, like, they blended together so nicely, like, between this blue and the green, it looks so nice, and, like, right over here, like, where the orange and the red and then even the yellow, this icy blue in the corner, this pink on the lower lash line, this is so good. So I know it's out of stock right now, but use code James for 10% off. When it does come back in stock, you know, gotta hype him up. That's the man. He did that. That's all I gotta say. Um, first impressions and overall review. This is stunning. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. And also the Am Razy highlighter. Mm, this looks so pretty on the skin. Um, yeah, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching.